Good day, Red Eye Storm Trader, and welcome to the first webinar for July. My name is Timon Rossellimos, and today I want to go through the watch list, but more importantly, I want to show you what is going on with the Aussie. So before, I think for the last couple of months, we've said that the Aussie has been in a sideways uh, range, which basically has not been giving out a lot of good trades. But uh, recently, there's been something very interesting going on that I didn't see it until today. And that is this upward trend that the Aussie keeps bouncing on. Okay, so I'll just drop this off here. So you can see that it's been making higher lows. And during these higher lows, this from over here, from, from March or April, there has been this downways movement where I said the Aussie is in a, a bear trend. But if we look at the bigger picture, it has been in a bear trend, but it's been forming a bullish formation, which is quite a shock to me because I thought that we were going to see a lot more downside this year. In fact, I expected the Aussie to drop even possibly at 42,432. I don't know if I did that analysis with you, uh, but it was at the back of my mind. And that's why we took on that Nedbank short hedge which was just a hedge and uh, you know it's just in case that if the market does continue to drop we've got something to protect ourselves but clearly that did not work out because the Aussie went on an upward trend and now our shares okay Billiton I know hit our raise stop loss so we, we should have gotten out at uh, around an 18.48% gain which is very good and Discovery is doing very well so uh, I'm looking for longs again which is excellent and we are not in a bull market just yet. And here's why. From uh, 2016, so we'll say the 28th of June, you can see that the market has been moving on the sideways trajectory. And early this year, we, w we took a lot of longs uh, where we, we banked a lot of uh, you know gains. But the reason was because the market kept going up. It went up in our favor. And that's exactly what we look for when we do these uh, trades. We're looking for strong upside or strong trend, okay? Then the market continued to drop down and whether you went short or you went long, the market stopped you out purely because the sideways trend means that the volatility in the markets are low. You're not seeing 3% move down. You're not seeing 3% uh, up moves. You're seeing 0.3% moves a day. And just enough of those ups and downs means that you could go long and be wrong. You could go short and be wrong. And that's why I said you must drop your, uh, your risk percentage to around 1% or even less. Or you can even paper trade. And we are still in that situation. Even though we are banking some profits now or, or gains, um, the, the, you can see clearly that the market is still in this range. But there are some signs that we are seeing some... Uh, some indication that we could be going up from here. And that is, first thing is the high lows, which have been forming since uh, December 2016. Second thing is that we are seeing this rounding bottom. Okay, now it's not a V-shaped bottom, it's actually a rounding bottom, which means that there was a lot of supply and demand tested around these levels, which formed that rounding formation. And because the the demand won, it means that the prices of the stocks were pushed up, which obviously brought the Aussie up. So this uh, rounding formation, if, if it breaks to the upside, which is exactly where, well, not exactly, but it's around here at 47,850. If it breaks above here, we could see a move up to the 50,000 mark. Okay, which would be fantastic because we would have taken a lot of longs and we would have followed the market and we would have a fantastic quarter. And then I can say, guys, uh, we're back on track. The market's in this trend. It's in a good environment. You can risk 2% of your portfolio. As you know, I never, ever, ever expect to ever lose more than 2% of my portfolio, no matter how good the market is going, because it can change just like this, as we have witnessed. Okay, so uh, once it breaks to this upside, we can expect this 50,000 mark and we will take longs in the meantime. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. So you can see why the Aussie, we're not in 
fantastic territory at the moment we're in better territory but not fantastic yet and i will let you know in the next webinar okay uh, bulletin you can see that i'm i'm still protecting our positions which means that we've ra we raised our stop loss uh, up to 220 which did hit yesterday and you should be out of your trade i will send a little email and and a message just saying that just to confirm it and uh, to get my conscience uh, out and you can see that doing these trades even if it goes up we protected ourselves and that is the most important thing protection and profits are important uh, this is uh, I don't I do not believe trading is a greed game ever it is an eternal consistent way of making an income and that's the way you should see it okay so there's bulletin for you discovery is doing nicely it's forming a little uh, what I call a flag formation and because it's on the upside you can expect more upside to come i haven't raised the stop loss just yet because we do need to bring it up to the 10 to 12 percent gain mark to cover our costs so that we got nothing to lose very important okay uh, we can go through a few stocks if you'd like one thing that caught my attention was african rainbow african rainbow has been forming a downward trend for a very long time since February it's been going on this downward trend which broke up to the upside and it is forming this uh, form of cup and handle but even though there's there's two cups so it's a little bit deformed but the principle is that it's broken out of the downside and we could be seeing upside from here so I'm writing this down as a potential trade of what could line up and I could be sending out either today tomorrow maybe after this webinar <laughs> it all depends on the calculations okay uh, then let's see anything else okay mr. price also formed a beautiful hmm is this a cup and handle or is this a W formation questions questions the reason why I'm challenging myself is because a cup and handle is less than 50% of a cup normally this looks like it's a little bit more than 50% uh, obviously if I'm using the body of the candles which means that this is probably a W formation and we could be getting a lot more upside regardless of whether it's a cup or a W it's still a bullish formation and we could see a target of around 182.95 which could be our next trade so I'm writing that down uh, as W formation what I don't like are these gaps that are forming in the market well that formed early on in March and but you can see that there hasn't been a gap since okay other than this one um, but there's been more stability with how the share price moves so uh, if it closes up today we could be getting into mr. price or MRP the CFD and we'll drive it up We'll ride it up to 182.95, rather. Okay. Anything else? You know, I also don't like bombarding myself with a lot of stocks. So if things are looking good, I like sending out one or two trades. Uh, I'm not somebody that likes holding five to ten trades at a time because if you're risking two percent of your portfolio and you're holding ten, um, you're holding ten positions, you are actually risking twenty percent if all breaks loose and the market drops so that's always something to consider is that I never like holding more than two to three trades sometimes four if I'm feeling a little um, adventurous or, or if I risk less than two percent of my portfolio to one percent then it's okay uh, but why do that why not just ride the stocks that are looking the most highest probability so that looks about it we've got R in MRP in the pipeline for trade um, and the Almi, well, yes, it is looking good. If it breaks above this 47,865, we could be getting some very great, um, some very good longs in the shortcoming weeks. All right. Have a fantastic time, and I will see you next month.